your girl McKay, this is Janae here with another video and today I have a haul for y'all. It's kind of like a collective haul but it's all kind of like luxury items. It's basically bags and shoes and some of it I got a really good sale on and I want to share with you guys because I feel like I've been just picking up a bunch of purses and a bunch of shoes and it's time to show you guys. So first let me show you the one thing that's not bags and shoes. It would be my new Tory Burch sunglasses. For a long time I was looking for some new sunglasses. I thought I wanted Ray-Bans brown frameless girly glasses okay that's what I thought I wanted but then I went to San Marcos which is one of my favorite places in Texas next to San Antonio and they have this humongous designer outlet if you love to shop make your way to San Marcos Texas okay and I got these Tory Burch sunglasses these were on sale and I think I got them for like one something it came with this beautiful hard case it has a snap clothes it's super protected in my purse and it also comes with a duster bag i keep the glasses in here also for double protection and i use this little bag to clean the sunglasses once you try sunglasses on your face you realize hey not every shape works but these are the sunglasses right here they are like a brown ombre and they actually do have a gold frame and it's white on the arms of it i don't even know what that's called i can't think right now but these give luxury these feel nice i can see through them perfectly clear like i used to have a problem like with cheap sunglasses i cannot see through them is that just me or is that y'all too because i cannot see through cheap sunglasses like i have to take them off while driving like something is wrong with me but these i could drive with them i could stay in these all day like other sunglasses they would hurt my eyes but these are amazing i love them i love how big they are you can't see my eyes at all and I got these from like the sunglass place I forgot the name of it sunglass hut but it's the place that's in malls too but it was their outlet in San Marcos so I love these sunglasses I keep these in my purse okay if you guys remember when I went to San Marcos like in 2020 or 2021 kind of during the pandemic I picked up my first Brahmin and it was white and it was a barrel with like blue but then I have noticed that Brahmin comes out with like amazing purses and amazing colors so I picked up this bad boy right here as you can see it's big i'm in my big girl purse era and i wanted a big purse and look at the colors i picked this up out of dillard's in beaumont and this was 345 and this was not the initial purse that i was going to get i was going to get their anniversary collection and it was a dark dark burgundy going into a reddish pink and it was a beautiful bag but I'm like let my second Brahmin bag be something colorful and this is just perfect it screams me it came with this strap it has gold details and all of their bags also come with a duster and I just love this bag it has a nice phone holder and your phone fits in it really really snug and you hold it in the inside of your arm so i love that i love all of the gold details it has like full purse pockets which a lot of bags do not have i love it i love this bag so much it was worth the 345 i heard one person say that ramen bags weren't quality and that her straps broke i don't see how the most quality bags i've ever felt were duny and Burke. those things last literally forever i don't think it's, it's it's forever but it's not cheap either like it feels good it feels sturdy it feels like it can weather a storm i love the bags and i love how colorful and playful they are i love it it's so pretty it's so pretty yeah so let me go to the next bag i brought which is no surprise here also a brahmin okay so this bag came just by circumstance and i had the money and i brought it <laughs> basically that's what happened my esthetician where you've seen on my channel where i get my waxes done she's amazing go check her out she basically messaged me on instagram and was like i know a girl who works in dillard's and she says there's a bag on sale for $50. And I'm like, what? $50? Let me see what that's looking like. It was this bag right here. And it is such a cute little shoulder bag. You know, it lays perfectly. And it's also not too small. And this was only $50. And the regular price for this was like one something. Almost close to $200. And it came with the dust bag. And I just love this color. Like, to me, Brahmins are amazing. Basically just off the color. Because at first, I thought that it was going to be one of those like envelope bags and it was going to be basically just like a wallet but no this is a full-fledged purse i could fit a wallet and my phone in here and everything else so this is perfect for when i'm going out and i just want a little small shoulder bag i love this 
I love this. I know I said I was in my big purse era, but this was too cute to pass up and it was too cheap to pass up. I'm sorry. Had to get this. Love this little bag. And the color is just so cute. I love the shine to their bags. And I love the gold detailing. It's just so nice. And it has the same little pocket inside. So the next bag I got is another one of my favorite brands because it is my mom's favorite brand. And it is a Dooney and Burke. I recently went to Destin literally last weekend. And I got this bag for $70 four dollars on sale and it's another big daddy right here once again i'm into bright colors i love bright colors you will not really catch me with a brown bag i might have to just grow up one day and get like one brown bag but i love colors i do and one thing about me i love pink as you can see by my shirt and they had this exact same bag in pink but i'm so glad i went out of my comfort zone and got this first of all this shape is so different as you can see it like slopes right here and it has a really thick shoulder band it's almost like a belt it has this humongous zipper on the back first of all i love the gold detailing and they always have a pop of red in their bags which i love i love that and this bag is huge i didn't even take the paper out of this one like i just brought this one i love Dooney and burke as a brand because their bags are almost indestructible like they last for years my mom ha i'm still pulling paper out my mom has Dooney and burke from like literally the 90s so like don't play with them and this is a seafoam color this purse is regular 248 and i got it for 74 dollars okay so now let's go to the shoes first let me show you guys boots okay so like at the beginning of this one I went to Target which is like newly renovated you know they put in the altars in the Target and I got me some winter boots which I have a very sad boot story so I ordered some boots off of HSN or QVC they were basically diamond crusted cowgirl boots it gave me so much trouble they did not fit I was very upset about that like she made it for people with like Barbie doll feet apparently because I could not get my feet in there. I do not have wide feet and I ordered a regular pair and I ordered a wide and neither one of those worked. It was so frustrating. I don't know what was up with Jessica Simpson. I don't think I'll buy any more shoes from her. I wasted my money. I'm still waiting on a refund for that. But the point of the matter is I need more winter boots. I guess I'll try Steve Madden but he isn't known for comfortable shoes either so I don't know about that. But I got these for $40 from Target. And this is how they look. They're like literally brand spanking new. I never wore them. They still connected. And this is them. They don't cover my knee but they come to my knee and they are so cute. Like these boots are very cute. They're like a faux suede and they're black. Like a three inch heel. And I'm someone I don't prefer wedges with my boots. I love a heel and these are just so cute and they were comfortable enough they didn't feel like those Jessica Simpsons for sure so I love these boots they're really nice and they're size 8 and they fit pretty well to me they wasn't too snug they fit well another thing that I got recently was a new pair of tennis shoes I have been on my tennis shoe game I'm trying to get my shoes right next I think I want me a new pair of Cortez but you know Cortez is hard to find so I finally splurged and got myself some Vapor Max and I got these bad boys right here you probably have seen this shoe around to me it's a pretty popular colorway most people usually have like the all red ones or the all orange ones or yellow, or yellow ones but I really like this colorway it literally goes with all my purses and the colorful purses I have these shoes are pretty comfortable and I love like the silver check mark right here these shoes were like 220 they they go 200 but you know with tax it was like 220 so I love these shoes I would recommend they're really cute really comfortable and really stylish but let me tell you what broke my heart when I was in Destin I saw these shoes right here and if I would have saw those shoes first I would have never got these my favorite color is purple and these shoes are everything one thing I'll say about these to me like they're kind of difficult to clean maybe I just don't know how to clean my shoes well I'll be trying I have a shoe cleaner by Reebok that I use but because of like the fabric material and like it has the little hard plastic parts right here it's just hard to kind of get in the grooves but I make sure I clean my shoes because I do not want these all dirty and crazy no I don't like to reread books and I don't like to have multiple pairs of the same shoe unless it's like a heel because I do have three pairs of the same wedges in different colors but I wasn't gonna do that with this shoe I'd rather just keep getting different styles of shoes than to repeat a shoe but I was like hey if I'm trying to get my shoe game up I have to buy some neutral shoes like I can't just walk around in rainbow shoes all the time when I was in Destin I went to the Nike outlet I picked up some more Nike shoes okay I got these shoes on sale for 60 64 dollars 
And these are women's Nike Air Max. I think the regular price of these are like $80, I want to say. But they're so cute. I got these in a size 8, which once I realized that I was trying to get into shoes more, I realized that I could fit a lot of sizes. Like, I don't know what's up with that, but I could fit a 7 and an 8. I didn't even know I could fit kids. And kids, I could fit a size 7. I didn't even know that. But these are so cute. As you can see, they're just white and black. But these are so stylish and cute. I feel like it's going to be hard to keep these clean, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to have to get some proper shoe clean gear I do have like some water repellent spray so I'll make sure I spray it so I'm very happy with my purchases like that's what I'm really into right now I'm into handbags and shoes heavy I don't want to buy no makeup new hair products I want bags and shoes and when it comes to clothes you guys know I love Walmart the shirt I got from Walmart I'm not liking the clothes I see in Walmart I feel like it's really meant for me to get back in my sewing phase and I want to make some clothes but when it comes to shoes and bags oh I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna buy it I will so just just stay tuned because I do want to pick up a backpack next. I do not have a good book sack purse, which I need. So I think if I buy myself another purse, that's what it'll be. And then I'm going to chill out. But I definitely want some more shoes because I'm really into the shoes right now. I brought these things like over the span of like September, October. I really enjoyed everything that I brought. I hope you enjoyed it too. I'm going to see you guys in my next video.